out of the box auditor. My wife made me this awesome shirt. Pretty cool. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, what would that again? My fight crate. Now, I know what's in this box. Okay. Uh, the reason I know what's in this box is because I read a lot of negative comments, uh, a lot of uh, negative unboxings, but let me tell you something, people. These are a mystery box, okay? You pay for a mystery. The thrill behind it is, I don't know, I may get this or I may get that. If I wanted to pay for something and I know what's in there, then it's not really a, a mystery box. It's, and look, I bought this. Opposed to, hey, this is a mystery box. There's no telling what's in this. So, by no means do I get these boxes for free. Nor am I a mod moderator for any of these boxes. Especially Fright Crate, Bam, Zobi. I don't get those boxes for free. I pay my money. Therefore, I can uh, give whatever feedback I want. I pay for it. So... This box caught a lot of flack. A lot of people didn't like what was in it. Oh no, it didn't come with an autograph. Ooh. Well, if you want autographs, go to the other boxes. Simple as that. So with that being said, I'm gonna unbox this because I'm the box hunter and I give I give my true opinion on it. You know? But quit bitching, people. It's a mystery box. Okay? Not everybody can be happy, but you get what you pay for. It's a mystery. That's the kind of kind of the point behind it. So here we go. An unboxing of the Fright Crate. Now, I've been subscribing to Fright Crate for almost over a year now. I found out uh, about Fright Crate because I was a subscriber to uh, Horrorblock, and then Horrorblock was terrible, terrible shipping. They were always late. And then they renewed, uh, they renewed the payment before you even got the, the last box. Kind of like another company that I know that's having the same problems. But I think if you, uh, if you don't get the box you bought the month prior, I don't think it should automatically renew. It should renew once you get the other box. Opposed to, oh, you didn't get that box, but we're going to take another payment out. Um, Jay over at Fright Crate, um, is is he's on point with the shipping it was like one maybe two months i had it and it was just because it was a busy time of the season and that's understandable well worth the wait jay but uh fried crates always been on time they've never disappointed me uh it is what it is i'm not gonna bitch about it i pay for it here we go t-shirt all right. Uh, it's got to run its course. I believe this is the from the movie Pumpkinhead, I believe. You can uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, that's an awesome shirt. That's a well-detailed shirt. Um, this is probably one of the better ones. Uh, yeah. This, one, this one's pretty good. I like this one. It's a pretty cool shirt. I will definitely wear that one. That's awesome. I want to say that is Pumpkinhead. Could be wrong. I'm sure y'all correct me. All right, next item. Ah, here we go. Karen from Night of the Living Dead. It's a serial resident co. Um, Jay and I always screw his name up. Darren Mitchell kind of got together and started making these figures. I don't open these. I generally like these figures. These figures are well detailed. Um, I still have all mine in my display and I probably will never open these. Um, but I like these. These, these are pretty cool. Uh, I like how Jay and Darren teamed up. Um, that's cool. I wish I had the time, money and effort to do that. Awesome. See, I, I heard about this and I saw it. Um, I want to say it was from the, the wit. Witcher. Anyway, it's a magnet. These magnets are pretty cool. Um, 
I wish magnets was as popular as pins. I wish boxes would do the magnets more. Um, I got a magnet a while back from Fright Fright Crate. It's on my refrigerator. I want to say it was from uh, uh, Creep Show. I think it was Creep Show. Um, I actually like magnets. I like them better than I do pins. I almost like them better than patches. That's pretty cool. That's definitely going in my refrigerator. Um, Baphomet will definitely hold up a family picture. <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> uh, here we go. Alright. The magazine. As you all know, if you've watched my other, uh, my other unboxings, I'm not fond of magazines and DVDs or comics. Um, those are items that I can just buy on the shelf uh, and do what you know I want with them. Um, I'm not a big fan of the magazines. Uh, Ward Six. Um, it's kind of got that indie, that indie comic looking uh, flow to it. It's pretty. It's pretty cool, but I'm just not a big, not a big uh, magazine guy. Um, but to each is their own. Pretty cool. Ward Six. I'll definitely put that in the bathroom, and I'll pick it up whenever. Uh, all right, the crow. Let's see, it's a pick, guitar pick. Let's take it out of the bag real quick. It's a necklace. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it's simple. Oops. It's pretty cool. I wish I knew how to play the guitar. I'd probably use it. Uh, it's got the it's got the crow on it, the crow logo. I don't know if y'all can see that. And Hangman hey Joe, I imagine that's the company. Uh, not my thing, but I'll probably uh, give this to my buddy uh, Darren. He's a big crow guy. And last but not least, the patch. I'm sorry, the pin. I got patches on my mind. I wish it was a patch. And holy crap. Not a pin person, but this is probably one of the best pins that uh, Fright Crate has put out. Wow, it's very detailed and it's huge. That's an awesome, awesome pin. Wow, check that out. That is neat. It's a crow item. Uh, and I'll probably, I'll probably end up giving it to my buddy Darren again. He's the big pin guy. Um, I just, I just hate collecting these and they just sit on a shelf. At least he uses them and puts them on, um, uh, this badass jacket that he's got. Um, but Darren, you owe me big for this, bud. You better, the next trade box we do, you better, you better, uh, come through. Because I'm half tempted to keep this pin. Wow, that's a cool pin. Pretty neat. And that's pretty much it for the Fright Crate. Um, January 2008, what's in the box? Exclusive Night of the Living Dead figure, Karen from Soul Resident Co. Uh, let's see, exclusive, Let It Run Its Course Pumpkin. Yep, I called it the Pumpkin Head shirt. Awesome. Uh, one of the better ones I've seen. Uh, Black, F Black Philip Magnet, The Witch. Um, and it was Amazing Sculpt by Brandon Scott Murphy, Murphy, you can check him out on Facebook at Sculptorism and Instagram. And it was painted by Fright Crate, that's cool, really like that. Uh, Vengeance Pin, uh, obviously the Crow, awesome. And the Guitar Pick, which is a hangman, Hangman's Joke. And the Ward 6 graphic novel. Not a bad box. Um, after reading all the comments and seeing some unboxings, um, and now, now having the actual box, um, I see the effort and the principle behind all the items, and I'm very happy with this box. Um, the pen and the Karen, the magnet. I love it. Good job, Jay. Um, can't wait to get the next Fright Crate, which I did purchase, and I can't remember, is there a, yeah, for next month, for
from Fright Creek, My Bloody, My Bloody Valentine, Aliens, which I'm a huge fan of, Dracula, which I'm a huge fan of, and Bride of Chucky, and it's coming, they're going to have a mystery theme. Um, I'm hoping that's what I voted for. I think Cujo. I voted for Cujo. I think that's what, uh, I think that's what that was, was on the, on the Facebook. Cool box. Stay tuned, um, for the next one. And, uh, that's all I got. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace. Check out that shirt. It's kind of dorky, I know, but I like it. My wife did good. Thanks, babe.